Most of us remember the story of the Sea of Reeds. The Israelites flee slavery in Egypt, and as they begin their trek through the wilderness, Pharaoh has a change of heart and sends his entire army after them. The Israelites march until they reach a sea, the Sea of Reeds. Meanwhile, Pharaoh's army rapidly approaches from behind, trapping them between the armies on one side and the impassable sea on the other. It appears to be certain death. But Moses goes out into the water and, instructed by God, lifts up his rod, causes the sea to split in two, enabling the Israelites to pass through on dry land while the Egyptian armies chase after them. But as the last Israelite reaches the other side of the sea, the walls of the sea come crashing back down on the Egyptian armies, wiping them out. And the Israelites cross freely. There is a beautiful midrash on this story in the Torah, which comes in our Parsha this week, our Torah portion for this week, Parshat Bo. The story is found in Midrash Rabbah, chapter 24, but I want to read for you uh, Rabbi Lawrence Kushner's version of it. Two people, Reuven and Shimon, hurried along among the crowd, crossing through the Sea of Reeds. But they never once looked up. They noticed only that the ground beneath their feet was still a little muddy, like a beach at low tide. This is terrible, said Reuven. There's mud all over the place. Disgusting, said Shimon. I'm in muck up to my ankles. And so it went, Reuven and Shimon whining and complaining all the way across the bottom of the sea. For them, there was no miracle only mud. Their eyes were closed. Even though they walked right through it, they might as well have been asleep. Many of us go through our lives failing to witness the miracles that happen all around us every day. The incredible fact that we wake up healthy in the morning. The smile and kiss we get from our spouse before we leave the door the wonder of watching our children grow up, the beauty of the trees outside, the freshness of the air. We have miracles all around us, great joys. And instead, many of us tend to focus on the negative. And that kind of attitude is distorting. It's warping it forces us to see ourselves as the victims of circumstance. It forces us to look only at that which is wrong with our lives instead of celebrating that which is right. The Midrash teaches that the Israelites are privy to this incredible miracle. Nothing ever existed like it in the history of the world. And these two Israelites, Reuven and Shimon, walk through the miracle and all they see is the mud. Because often when we choose to focus on the negative, all we see is the negative. The story of the Red Sea reminds us, and the Midrash interpreting it reminds us, that our task is to focus on the miracle, to witness the wonder that exists all around us in our daily life. So this week, I want to bless us that we not let the mud take away from the miracles. If we focus on the great positives in our lives, the negatives that we from time to time encounter will matter all the less. So look at the water. Look at the sea split before us. And don't focus on the muck beneath your feet. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, Mary, don't you